Hello stamping friends, it's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and if you don't already have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator no matter where you are in the country. So today we have an awesome live class like we typically do and this time we're going to explore a little bit more floral just like we did last week with the Hydrangea Haven. We're going to have another floral class this time with the fine art floral. And I absolutely love this entire suite, so versatile. I especially love the stamp set. There's so many awesome sentiments. In fact, even before I started playing with the suite as a whole, I was using that stamp set for so many different projects already just because the sentiments are so great. So that one is definitely a must have. And this one is carrying over until the new catalog. And so there's plenty of time to purchase it, but you're gonna wanna get it this week because if you do, we'll have a live class kit and uh, you can get that for free just by placing an order with me at twocoolstamping.com. Now, before we get started, I wanted to just give you a couple of reminders for this week. Remember, we have the last chance retiring list is currently out and available. You can go to my website, twocoolstamping.com to print that out uh, and head on over to the online store to check out and see what is left. The items are all that are retiring are all while supplies last and they are available through May 3rd. So, um, and some of them are, are at a really nice discount too, so check it out. Um, I did hear that the stamp sets, because Stampin' Up! manufactures their own stamp sets, those are guaranteed through April 23rd, but all of the rest of the items are while supplies last. Um, also, many of the in colors already gone, so um, I can't remember which ones are available. There are certain ones that might have some cardstock left, but those are going fast. Um, the inks and the refills might already be sold out. So um, yeah, check it out, don't wait on that. So that's the last chance retiring list. Also, it's a really exciting week for demonstrators um, because today is the first day that we can pre-order from a select variety of products from the new annual catalog. That's the catalog that's coming out on May 4th the great big catalog for the year, and I just placed my pre-order right before this live class, and I'm so excited to get some new products to play with. And the reason I'm telling you is because if you don't want to wait until May 4th to see some of the things in the new catalog, to see the catalog and order some of the things, you can actually become a demonstrator right now, join the Two Cool Stamping team, and you can place a pre-order. In fact, you can add pre-order items to your starter kit. So all you need to do is place a starter kit order. It's $99. You can choose up to $125 worth of products. There's free shipping on that order. And then you become a demonstrator. So you'll have access to see the new catalog online. And um, like I said, place a pre-order for some of those products. So it's really exciting and really fun and you can be kind of be behind the scenes and all you do is place an order. And then anything that you order in the future is gonna be 20% off as well. So that's a great big benefit. So if you wanna know more, you can contact me, just direct message me or uh, send me an email if you have that. Um, you can go to my website, twocoolstamping.com and click on the email link there and just ask me anything you want to know about it. I'd love to talk to you more about joining my Too Cool team. Okay, let's talk about the Fine Art Floral Suite. It is so beautiful. It's kind of, um, well, it's artsy. It has a lot of painting, um, paint, painterly looking things. <laughs> All of these flowers that look like they were actually painted and they actually were painted and then photograph for um, the designer series paper. I love the way Stampin' Up! just has such amazing, amazing artists artist working on the paper, and, um, and it's usually from an actual piece of art. So that's what this suite is all about. I'm gonna turn the camera around. You can see the paper, you can see the stamp set, which I absolutely love, and we'll get started on the projects. So hold on for a minute, and we're going to flip you around. A little roller coaster ride. And we'll try to get it set up here. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's get our get some light on the subject. So let me show you what is in the Fine Art Floral Suite. You guys, 
I didn't realize, I knew I was going to like it, but I didn't realize how much I was going to like it <laughs> until I started playing with it. And this is um, the spread in the mini catalog, page 32 and 33. You can see all of the different pieces in it. And let me show you those up close. So first of all, you have the art gallery stamp set. And like I mentioned, uh, it has some really pretty two-step floral images here, but the best part, in my opinion, is all of the sentiments. I mean, it covers all occasions. I miss you, congratulations, happy birthday, good luck, sorry, thank you, best wishes. You are lovely, I'm thinking of you. It has everything that you need and it's really cute little sizes that fit on all kinds of cards. So I love this stamp set. This is a must have. If you get nothing else, this is definitely one that you will use over and over. And then as part of the bundle, you can get the it's called the floral gallery dies and of course these are going to cut out your flowers and uh, it has a couple of labels here so those are super nice for all the different sentiments and then the one thing I didn't use but um, is really cool is this great big die here that says just want to say so just want to say happy birthday just want to say sorry just want to say best wishes and so that's kind of a fun thing that you can um, very, you know, with just some background paper and the die cut and one sentiment, you can have a really cool card. So I didn't use that. It was a little, it was going to be a lot of die cutting and a lot of little pieces, but uh, for the card kit, but that one's a really fun one to look at. Okay, let's look at the paper. That is a really awesome highlight of this suite. And like I mentioned, this paper is actually was actually painted. It looks like it was painted with acrylics and then photographed and then color corrected to be a perfect match to Stampin' Up's colors. So lots of florals on one side. Let me show you all of those up close. I love this one. And the other thing I love about this whole uh, selection of paper is all of the color you know, possibilities. There's so many different varieties in here. It's not just five colors, it's, it's all kinds of colors. You can match it with just about anything. So those are all of the florals, and then you have all of the backsides as well. So here's a bunch of just a painted texture, kind of, um, this is a canvas, but it has some, some different geometric patterns on it, some splotches of color there. So lots of more subtle, companion pieces to go with those florals. So, so many options, so much versatility there. And um, I wish that I could have included more cards in this class because there's so many different ways that you can use this beautiful paper. Now, along with the paper, there's also a special golden garden acetate. And it's three pieces of acetate. I'm gonna show you them individually. They're uh, 12 by 12. I've been using some of mine, so I, they don't have full sheets of all of them. Here's one of them, and I just love it. And this one actually goes, um, I didn't do it for our, our cards, but it actually goes with one of these. I think this one, yeah. You can lay this over this paper and it matches up and gives you those golden highlights to outline all of the colored pieces so that you can cut this up and make a beautiful accents and backgrounds that perfectly match with this awesome overlay. So I didn't do that, like I said, with this class, but that's a fun thing to note about it. So that's one sheet. You get three different sheets in the acetate. The next pattern is this beautiful floral. Again, they're all 12 by 12. I've just been using mine, so I don't have much left. Uh, but this is a really pretty one. And then we also have a little fleur-de-lis type of a thing. I guess it's not fleur-de-lis, but it's, it's a geometric little pattern. Now, the other thing that's cool about these acetate sheets, you have gold on one side, and on the other side is silver. So it's kind of nice that you can use uh, either side and add some elegance to your projects. So that's really fun. So that's the Golden Garden Acetate. And then a couple more things in the suite that I have here. The, um, this is the Fine Art Ribbon, and this is kind of a linen ribbon, but it has some beautiful gold 
highlights in it. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. Some, um, just some flecks of color in there, kind of glittery. So that is fun. It goes beautifully with that Golden Garden acetate. And then we also have the painted texture embossing folder. And this gives you that same painted texture that you see in the, the patterns of paper. It will do for your cardstock as well. And we'll be using that on a couple of cards so you can see that a little bit better. Now, one thing I do not have, I, uh, and I didn't want to, uh, I know some of you were excited about seeing this, but right now the uh, gilded leafing is, the, they're the, these awesome gold flakes and I've never purchased them yet. I was going to do that kind of as a technique class, but they're still on back order right now. Uh, but this is a really cool technique that you can do. You use heat and stick powder and uh, the gold flakes stick to it. But we can get to, into that maybe in another class. But right now it's not currently available. It is on back order. Okay, it's because it's so popular. You just can't keep all the cool stuff in stock, right? Okay, let me get this out of the way and we're going to get started with our projects. You guys are going to love these projects. Also, let me tell you that um, we typically do a class of five cards, and that's what we're gonna do again. Um, I'll show you several projects, and then we'll have a free five card live class kit when you place a $35 order with me at twocoolstamping.com. Another thing we're gonna do, I really liked both of my versions of, I you do two cool versions of each card, and so I'm gonna offer you another uh, option for the kits this week. If you want all 10 cards that I'm going to show you, both two cool versions of all the five styles of cards, then just place a $75 order and I'll get you all of the supplies to make all of those 10 cards. I couldn't hardly decide which ones to put in the five card kit, so <laughs> that's why I'm offering you two. Okay, let's get started. I hope that you love these cards so much. I'm going to have my piercing mat here because it is a photopolymer stamp set. So we will be using that um, to give it a little bit of cushion that helps uh, with the ink transfer. So that will be helpful. We're going to start out with the first card. It's going to be a gatefold card. So it's uh, Mary Merlot and it's five and a half by eight and a half. I've scored it at one, or sorry, I'm scored it at two and an eighth and also six and three eighths. So I've already pre-scored those, and I'm just gonna fold those in. Now before I do my crease really well, I'm gonna match these edges up so that they're nice and flush. Then I'm gonna get my bone folder out, and then I will do the creasing. That way I know that it's gonna meet up really well in the center. So just a little tip to get us started off. I'm gonna do that over here. It's a little bit, it creases a little better on a harder surface. Okay, here is our card front. And then I'm gonna decorate the first, uh, the front panels here with a couple of pieces. This is the Mary Merlot and it is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And I've already embossed that with the Scripty embossing folder and you guys I love this embossing folder it's actually retiring so if you have a hankering to get that you should do it now before it's gone for good as far as I know it's still available but that scripty is leaving it's such a sweet and and just kind of kind of a subtle background and I love that texture all right the other side we're going to use one of those beautiful floral our fine art floral patterns. Again, this is the same measurement, one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And we're just using seal adhesive. That's my go-to adhesive. All right, there's our background. Next, we're gonna work on our focal point and we're gonna start stamping some of those beautiful fine art floral patterns or uh, layers. So I have a large uh, solid flower for one and then I have the detailed flower for another. So we'll start with, let's see, I'm going to start with Flirty Flamingo and we'll 
stamp that. Again, you wanna use a piercing mat. If you don't have that, maybe a catalog or something that has just a little bit of cushion to it, that's going to allow you to have a little bit better transfer of ink. And I'm off screen doing a little bit of cleaning because we're gonna be using this um, stamped image on several of our several of our projects. Okay, so Flirty Flamingo is the first layer. Then let's get out some Poppy Parade. That's gonna be our accent layer. And this will line right up. I kind of, I look at this top one is kind of my gauge. And if you don't get it perfect, the cool part about it is it's not gonna matter. It's really kind of here and there and everywhere. <laughs> So there is our Poppy Parade. And then we're gonna have one more piece here, a little flower center. And we'll bring in that Mary Merlot color. Again, there's no place specifically to put that, so we're just gonna add it to the center. Just gives it a little extra detail. I love how easily they layer. You don't have to worry about lining things up perfectly. It just goes together beautifully. All right, now let's get our stem. This is gonna be in Mary, or not Mary Merlot, that would be silly, Mossy Meadow. And we'll add that right underneath there. And we're gonna finish up with a sentiment, and the sentiment is going to be in Mary Merlot. And there's so many to choose from. You can really find exactly what you are looking for. So this one is, I miss you. Because gosh, I don't know about you, but there's a lot of, a lot of people that I'm missing not being able to be out and about and see family members as much. Maybe someday soon when everyone is vaccinated, we'll see. Okay, next, I don't think I told you the measurement on this. This is basic white. It is a two and a half by four. And then we're going to add that to a two and three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of mossy meadow. So this is just a simple, simple stamping with a little focal point. And then we'll finish up by adding this to our card front. We're gonna pop this up with dimensionals. The easiest way to do this, we only want to add it to this left side. So I'm gonna flip it over this way, top to bottom, line it up where I wanna line it up, and then we'll get some dimensionals out here, and we don't wanna go across that line. So this gives us kind of a guide about where to position everything. Okay. And then we'll add that. And then one more little topper here. We're gonna add some pearls, just a few pearls right to the center, just to give a little extra shine Whoops, stuck to my finger. All right, so that is our first card, gatefold card. And let me show you our two cool version. So this one's gonna be in our five card kit. And then our two cool version starts with the So Saffron backdrop. I use the brick and mortar embossing folder this time, a different pattern from the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper, Flirty Flamingo for my mat, and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I believe I used, I think I used So Saffron and um, Bumblebee, and then also Night of Navy, just to give it a little pop of color to match that background, and then Pear Pizzazz for the leaves. I used a different sentiment that's also in Night of Navy. So those are our two 
cards. If you have the $35 order, you'll get the five card kit with this one included. And if you have a $75 order, you get to make both of the different versions. All right, let's check out our next card. This is a fun one. I've not done this one before. And it's kind of a fun fold. So this starts with a quarter sheet of pretty peacock cardstock. This one's leaving, I'm so sad, but I wanted to use some of our retiring uh, in colors that match this paper for one of the last times. I'm just sad. Teal and purple are like my favorite colors, so I hate to see those go. <laughs> so this, um, like I said, it's a quarter sheet. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have a layer here that's going to be four by five and a quarter. We're going to set that aside for now. And we're going to focus on two pieces of the fine art floral paper. So these are both three by four, and then I have scored them at, at the one inch mark on the three inch side. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that and crease that with my bone folder. I've done the same thing with this one, folded one inch in. Next, we're gonna take our corners and bring them into that score line. So we'll fold that, bring that in flush. This is called a double point card. So I don't know if any of you have made one of those before, but that's it's kind of a fun, a fun and interesting different little fold. Okay, so there's one, let's do the other one. And then we're gonna use some seal and adhere those so that they are tacked down. So we'll just add some seal on the outline or on the outside border here. And give that another good crease. Again on this one. All right, now we're gonna attach these to the top and bottom of this piece of paper. So we're gonna put some seal behind here on both of them. Let's just do one at a time so we don't get stuck on things that we shouldn't. So I'm just gonna put that right up against the score line and we'll do the same for this one on the opposite side. I do better working from this way, so we'll flip it on this side. All right, and then again, I'm gonna move this out of the way and give it some good creasing with my bone folder so that it lays as flat as possible. All right, now I'm gonna adhere that to my card base. So we'll put that right in the center. All right, so this is our card, and I'm gonna, I think I'll do this, I'll do this for the top. Okay, next let's, let's work on a focal point. This is gonna be very similar to what we did in the first card, only this time we're gonna have the two and a half by four inch piece of smoky slate. I've embossed this already with a subtle texture, again, the subtle embossing folder is leaving. <laughs> I am so sad. This is one of the ones I'm, I mean, one of the things I'm so super, super sad about. I love that texture. I love how subtle it is. I love that it just kind of makes your paper look like linen. So I've been trying to use it as much as possible before it's gone. So just like the previous card, we're gonna layer that uh, on another, on a mat that is uh, two and three quarter by four and a quarter. 
and this time it's in pool party. It's always so bittersweet when things are retiring. But you know what? It's only just a temporary bittersweet because good things always follow. New, fun, good things will follow. All right, next we're gonna add this to the top of this and it's gonna open like this and just overlap this part. So you'd only want to adhere it up here. Now we wanna make sure that we only have adhesive behind this part. So I like to have little tricks for positioning and so I know exactly where to put my adhesive. So I'm gonna line this, let me center it a little better there. So we'll center it, then we'll put this down and then I know exactly where I need to add my seal. So I'm just gonna go kind of on the, the outer edges there and then I can add this right over the top. All right, so there is our fancy fold card and then we just need to add our focal point on the front. Again, you can have it lay just a little bit better if you use the, the tip of your bone folder and get it right in there on the crease, that'll help it lay down as much as possible. All right, plus we'll also get a focal point on there that's gonna weigh it down just a little bit, it'll help it keep it closed. All right, next, let's do some stamping. Like the previous card, we're gonna stamp that large image. This time we're gonna stamp it in petal pink. And we're gonna add some Poppy Parade. sure I don't have any more ink on here. All right, little poppy parade to our middle. And that is done. And then we also want to add, let me clean that up because I know we're gonna use it again. We're gonna add our leaves. This time we're gonna do those in Pretty Peacock. And actually needed to have, I needed to scoot this over just a little bit. This is just a scrap piece of paper because we're gonna die cut this out. So I don't even have enough room on here, hardly. Woo! To die cut. Just a scrap paper. So once that's all done, you'll use those floral gallery dies. This one for the flower and this one for the leaves. And that's going to be able to cut out your flower. So that's gonna go on this gray background. So I love how you can either stamp it on white, just regular, like our first card, or you can do the die cutting and you can put it on any color of background and really make it pop. So let's add some dimensionals here. And this one, I think we're gonna need some mini dimensionals as well. So a couple big ones, and then also minis. If you don't have mini dimensionals, they're so helpful. They're just little tiny ones, and they fit in the little tiny areas that you need to have a little bit of stability and, and pop up. We're gonna start out putting the leaves down. And we'll go, let's see, let's go about right here. And then we'll put that flower on top. And we'll finish up by uh, one of these labels. I've already pre-die cut a petal pink label with the die. And then that's the perfect size for one of the, several of the different sentiments in the set, which as I mentioned, I absolutely love. So we're gonna stamp this thank you in Poppy Parade. I love that it's photopolymer so you can see right through it. You can see exactly where you need to stamp. We'll add a couple more mini dimensionals to the back.
and we'll add, whoops, not upside down. We'll add that to the bottom here. And then we'll finish up with a couple of champagne rhinestones. I love how this the champagne rhinestones look against the smoky slate, really pretty. All right, so there is our cool double points card. Kind of fun, kind of different. Let me show you our second version, our too cool version. So that is this one. This one is in Night of Navy for the background. I used a different pattern, of course, for the fine art floral. Mary Merlot uh, matte with basic white as the background on this one. So see, even if you don't have, even if you just have white on white, it's fun to pop that flower up. This is stamped in Stamped Off Flirty Flamingo, Flamingo and uh, Night of Navy and Mossy Meadow. And then I use the longer label for this one for one of the longer sentiments. So again, really pretty. And then for your class kit, you're gonna have this one in the five card kit and then both of them if you place that $75 order for the 10 card kit. Oh, also Holiday Rhinestones with the Night of Navy. Those are handy. All right, next card. Ooh, this is a fun one with a cute technique. This is kind of a sweet card. We're starting with Bumblebee as our card base. And just a traditional five and a half by eight and a half card base scored at the four and a quarter mark. Next, we have a piece of our fine art floral. We're gonna use this Bumblebee pattern and we'll add that to the background. And then I have a piece of basic white that I have embossed with that painted texture. Do you see that? Look at that awesome. It, it really does look like paint. It looks like you have a palette knife out and you're playing with acrylic paint. So this one measures four and three quarter by three and a half. Before we put that down, we're gonna add some, I caught myself, did you notice? We're gonna add some pool party sheer ribbon. I was so glad to see that this made it into the new catalog. I love this ribbon. Love the color, it's easy to tie. Has kind of a shimmery look with that sheer texture. And we'll just tie it in a double knot and then trim the ends. And I'm gonna scooch it right over on this side, put it on the wrong side. All right, and then we'll add this to our card front. straightened out a little bit. There we go. So that's a really nice background. And then for the focal point, you just need a scrap of basic white. And then this time, we are going to, trying to find my pieces here. Okay, we're going to, I'm missing one piece for some reason. Oh, come on. One second, I gotta go find it. It's like every, every episode, there's always one thing that I forget. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try a, a, a stamp and write marker technique that it's kind of old school and you might have done this before. Uh, if you're a newer stamper, you might not have ever seen this before, but I love this technique and it's perfect for this type of stamp. So we have a stamp here with a, bu a bunch of flowers and some stems and we're gonna color directly onto the stamp with the stamp and Write markers. Now you wanna make sure that you're using stamp and Write markers, not the stamp and Blends. Stamp and Write markers are water-based and um, it's just gonna, 
apply like regular ink. And then the Stampin' Blends are alcohol-based. Those are more like Sharpie, and so they're going to stay on your, um, on your image rather than transfer onto the paper. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm just using the brush tip, the side of the brush tip, and I'm just coloring in one direction very gently over wherever I want the different colors. So the first color I used uh, was Bumblebee for the two flowers. Now I'm using Melon Mambo. And you're gonna kind of get some streaking with this, but it's okay because all of the fine art floral paper is kind of, has that streaky look like it's been painted. So it really goes with the whole look. Now Coastal Cabana, I'm just gonna use some of that on these little tiny buds, little tiny blooms on the side. And then we'll finish off with Old Olive. And, sorry, <coughs> excuse me, I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna add a little bit <laughs> of old olive to where the stems and leaves go. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know if I've ever sneezed in a video before. I've come really close. I think I've done it with my team videos, but not with my live videos. There's always a first. The fun of being live. I didn't have, like on the radio, they like kill the mic. I didn't have that capability. Okay, <laughs> so now we have everything colored and we're gonna huff on it with our breath. You can see what it looks like. Just huff on it with your breath just to kind of re-moisten it a little bit and then stamp on your scrap sheet. And you can see it, you can see the, the streaking in it a little bit, but it's just such a cool, cool look. I love that. So I took this, I used the floral gallery dies to cut that out. So I have a piece here that's ready to go. And we're gonna bump that up with some dimensionals, of course. So we'll add some dimensionals. Dimensionals are like my go-to. When in doubt, pop it up, that's my motto. People at my classes will say, did you pop that up or did you just stick it straight? Oh, when in doubt, pop it up. Let me get one more on this little one. And you gotta use plenty of dimensionals because you don't want any part of it to dip in the middle or not have support underneath it. So that's why these mini dimensionals really come in handy. If you don't have mini, it's okay. You can just, um, you can cut the border part of your dimensionals and use those. So I'm gonna add that right here. Oh, it just brings it all together. Beautiful. All right. We're gonna finish it off with a sentiment. So we have Melon Mambo here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's do Happy Birthday this time. The old classic. Happy Birthday. And then we're gonna, you could use those same label dies. But the other thing I love to use that is also retiring is the classic label punch. I'm gonna be sad this one's gone because it is classic. It's a must have. It's been a staple in my stamp studio since it was, since it was introduced. So I'm gonna add this again with some mini dimensionals. And we're gonna finish up with some bling. That little arrow points right in there, a the little nook, love it. All right, now, if you wanted to, you could use some holiday rhinestones. There's some pool party colors in there, and that would be the perfect way to do it. But I didn't have any, so I'm just using my Bermuda Bay Stampin' Blends marker to add some color to some rhinestones. And then we will just add those to our card. 
a little bit of bling, a little bit of sparkle to finish it up. All right. So this is our third card. This will be in the five card kit. And then I did a very similar one, just with different colors, with uh, another pattern of the fine art floral. This one has kind of the, the uh, petal pink uh, pattern for the fine art floral paper. Flirty Flamingo is the background. I used Mango Melody and Flirty Flamingo. So even though it's yellow and pink, a little bit different, also Coastal Cabana, same ribbon, and then Flirty Flamingo for the You Are Lovely sentiment. So a couple of, of cute ways to do it. Very similar. You'll get this one in the five card kit and you'll get both in the 10 card kit for your $75 order. Okay. For the next card, we're starting with Poppy Parade. Just another traditional card base. And we have another background here that's with that painted texture embossing folder. This time it's a little bit different size. It's a four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And we're gonna add a little piece of one of my favorite patterns from Fine Art Floral. This is a three and a half by two and a half piece of that paper. We'll add that to the bottom of our background. With just a little tiny border around it. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit of seal on the sides here and I'm gonna wrap some of this pretty fine art floral ribbon around the front. Just a little, a little element there that gives it a little shimmer and shine. Then we can add this to our card front. All right. Then we'll work on a focal point. We're gonna use that same image that we just used. We're gonna clean it up on our Simply Chamois. And this time, I have a basic white stitched shapes circle. Okay, you guys, I'm like using all the things that I love. Stitch shapes, dies are gone. All your basic circles and ovals and squares with this beautiful stitching, it's gonna be retiring. Oh, I'm so sad. This is the largest circle. And we're gonna stamp, let's do the other one first because the other one's a lighter color and I'm gonna feel better about that. So let's start with our scrap piece of paper here. And we're gonna stamp the same image twice. So this is petal pink. And we're gonna clean that up with our Simply Chamois. Squish, squish. And then we'll stamp it again in Mossy Meadow. Mossy Meadow flowers, ooh. Now, let's finish up, let's see. We're gonna use that little flower center image. And I love this little image. I didn't realize how versatile it was gonna be. Uh, we've seen how you can use it with layering. In the large flower, you can just use it with a large flower and not the, the detail, just with the flower center there. Now we're gonna use it with these small flowers and they look beautiful. So this is Poppy Parade and they fit each one. And you can do the stamped off if you want to. I don't know what I did there. Oh, look, I'm like, what is that little piece there? Oh, uh-oh, do you see that? Mini dimensional wrapper got in my way. Anyway, this was just what I was stamping on to my scrap paper. And then I used my die cut to, so I, shoo, I have a backup. <laughs> so I used my die cut, and then we're gonna cut these pieces away. We're gonna cut out the blooms 
and this is kind of like paper piecing if you've ever done that before. So we're gonna add this over the top. So we can have two different colors so that if you don't have Stampin' Write markers and you aren't able to do all the different colors of flowers and um, stems and everything different, you can just cut, you can just do two different stamps, die cut those out and do some paper piecing. So just a little bit of cutting. Most of it's already pre-cut for you. You're just getting rid of some of the extra pieces there. And then we also need that one little one. Where'd he go? There he is. Cut some of those little edges off. All right, so now we're just gonna add those. That little one I'm gonna put on there with a the glue dot because I think that'll hold it the best. It's kind of hard to put seal on something so small. So we'll put that right over that one and then we'll just add the rest, get these little pieces out of here, with some seal. Kind of a fun way to get that multicolored look. Also adds a little bit of dimension because you're adding another layer. So a little texture detail. All right, let's bring our card back. We're gonna put that right in the middle here. Of course, we're gonna pop it up with some dimensionals. When in doubt, pop it up. that right in the center and then I've already pre-cut a basic white label and we will add let's see we're gonna add that in poppy parade one of the longer sentiments you can see that this is one of my blocks that when you have a lot of sentiments or other kinds of images I like to double up so I have one on one side and one on the other side. So it makes it really easy. So you don't have nearly as many blocks floating around. And then our mini dimensionals, those are really coming in handy. Don't forget to add those to your order. Gonna need about four of them on this one. It's a really long sentiment. There we go. Then we can just add that right here. I love it. So, so pretty. Okay, that is our card and our too cool version I did in Night of Navy. I used some pool party for the background, a different Night of Navy pattern from the Fine Art Floral. A you are lovely, and I actually used this long die cut and just cut the edges and this time I popped it out and made it flush with the edge just for a little breakout there. And I did add some Wink of Stella. So you might wanna do that. That kinda of looks nice with the, the shimmer that's in that ribbon. So that's a fun one. You're gonna get this card with the five card kit with your $35 order and your $75 order. We'll get you all the supplies to make both cards. All right, one more you guys. Hope you like it. This is kind of a fancier one, a little bit more elegant. We're gonna start with a pool party card base. This one's a little bit shorter. It's a seven and a quarter by five and a half, and then it's scored at three. So we have a little bit of a shortened card base. All right. Then we're gonna add another piece of that fine art floral. Whoops, get my remnants out of the way. So this one is that pool party painted texture. Just gives it a little bit of a fun background there. 
Next, I have one of the pieces of the Golden Gallery or Golden uh, Golden Garden Specialty Acetate. So uh, I use the floral here, and I'm going to add that. This is a three by four. I'm just going to add some seal right to the middle of it because that part's going to be covered, and then we're going to add that to a three and a quarter or three and an eighth by four and an eighth piece of Bermuda Bay. So that's gonna go right on there. I'm gonna flip that around and add some seal to this. This way I'm gonna know that I don't wanna have any seal on this edge. So it just helps with positioning a little bit. Now this card will be in your five card kit and I wanted to tell you that it will be one of the three patterns. It may not be this floral, it may be the other, um, the other version like this. So it'll be whichever one that you get. Okay, next we have a piece of basic white that I have die cut with that lovely stitched shapes dies that are that's retiring and we're going to add that to the card front but before we do we're going to add some of that pretty fine art ribbon so I just put a little bit of seal on the back so that I have something to stick it to and I'm gonna just kind of do a little zigzag on the back here so fold it around fold it around and then we'll just trim the edges off Whoops, that one didn't work. And then this one, I need to get my scissors sharp and it looks like. All right, so that will go on here. We're gonna pop that up with dimensionals. Lots of popping. And then we're gonna stamp a little flower to put on the top of this. For a little focal point, let's start over here. Okay. All right, next we have a piece of scrap paper here and I'm gonna stamp a couple of things. We're gonna stamp our leaves. And again, this is just scrap paper, so it doesn't matter where you stamp it, but we're gonna stamp the leaves in pear pizzazz. And then we're gonna stamp the, what did I just do with it? Here we go. The small flower, there's another flower in there that we haven't used. And this one's gonna be stamped in pool party. Then again, just like we have used that little tiny flower center, let me clean it up, make sure I got the ink off of it. We're gonna add that to this one as well with some Bermuda Bay. So see how it just goes with everything. It just adds a little dimension and color to everything. So by magic and the help of the floral gallery dies, we have our die cuts for those flowers. And then we'll just add those directly on to let's see how do I want to do it let's go like this and a little bit of seal on the back of this one and then we add one little sentiment to it so I've already die cut that in pool party and then I'm using a shorter sentiment with the long one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this end straight and then I'm gonna kind of eyeball wherever the next one's gonna be straight and where I can cut it and make that one straight so 
I have centered it in between there and I'll cut that one straight. So you can make this whatever size that you wanna make it. And that's one of the things I love about this cute shape. And then best wishes, we'll just add that right here. And voila, good to go. I love that. So let me show you, um, oh, first let me show you how to do the inside. I'm gonna give you a piece of um, three by four basic white to go on the inside. Remember to stamp on the inside. There's some such pretty um, images. You can just do a little decoration on the inside of your card as well. But your piece, your, um, your three by four piece, let's say this is it, you're gonna, to position it, you're gonna center it over here, put some adhesive on the back of it, and then just close it. And that's how you will get that to be hidden behind this basic, this front center element. So that is our five card project. And then the two cool version, which I also love, is this one. This one starts with petal pink. We used a different paint, uh, painted background from the fine art floral. Melon Mambo, we used the different Golden Garden Acetate. And then I stamped it in Pumpkin Pie and stamped off Melon Mambo and Pear Pizzazz. Some Petal Pink for our sentiment. And this one, again, I cut it down so you can cut it to be perfect with whatever sentiment works for you. All right, so this is the one you'll get in your five card kit and you'll get both of the supplies for both of the cards in your 10 card kit. So let's gather up everything that is gonna be in your kits. Remember this time we have two different versions. The five card kit will include all the, of the ones that we put together today. So you'll have all of these versions. What am I missing? Here we go, this one. So. Here is our five card kit. And when you place a $35 order and use, and just uh, go to twocoolstamping.com and click on the shop now link. Let me let you see that as well. It's hard to get everything in the shot. <laughs> so if you place a $35 order at twocoolstamping.com, click on the shop now link. Be sure to use the host code HX7BFDHZ that's gonna get you all of the supplies that you need to create these five cards. And you'll get all of those supplies for free. It'll include all of the embossing, it'll include all of the die cutting. The only things, a um, couple of things it doesn't include, if you are stamping and then die cutting, it does not include the die cutting because it's, it's a lot harder to stamp on a die cut. So uh, you can stamp, I'll give you scrap paper for that, stamp and then cut it with the dies that you have or do a little fussy cutting if you don't have those dies. But you'll have all of the embellishments. Um, one thing I wanted to note, if you have purchased my uh, purchase from me before and received a free class kit, you may have gotten some rhinestones that I have altered with the stamp and blends. I have decided that I can't do that anymore because I I ruin a stamp and blend <laughs> marker every time I do that because I'm doing so many kits. So I'm going to give you the regular rhinestones, and um, you can color those with whatever color that you want to coordinate with your project and you just need to use a stamp and blends marker for that. Um, it really kind of makes sense because I don't supply ink and that's just kind of a general rule that that's another ink that I do not supply. So um, just wanted to point that out. This is for your five card kit for your $35 minimum order. If you place an order of $75 or more, then you're gonna add in all of your two cool versions of your cards. So you're gonna have 10 cards that you can make. And here they are. So you're gonna have all of the two cool versions, all of the different parts and pieces. You'll be able to really explore with a lot of different papers and, um, and have ones with all kinds of sentiments. Since we have so many sentiments that you can that you can use on the stamp set, you'll be able to have a whole bunch of all occasion cards in these beautiful floral designs. All right, everybody. Um, oh, one more thing. When you place an order, if you do place an order of $150 or more, 
don't use the host code. I want you to, to be able to earn stamp and reward dollars, which you can earn on a an order of $150 or more. And when you use the stamp, when you use the host code, you're not able to use those. So don't use the host code. If it's $150 or more order, I will automatically send you the 10 card kit if you do place an order that large. All right. I think that's it for this week. I hope you really enjoyed these beautiful cards as much as I did making them. I really had a lot of fun. Thanks for taking the time to get creative with me today. And I look forward to seeing you next week at our next live class on Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, this is Angie with TooCoolStamping.com. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.